Rocky Wonders by Emily Gibson, Megan Comstock, Andrew Falk, and Chloe Delafield. Read by Mrs. Mulatto. This book is part of the fourth grade Amplify Science unit, Earth's Features. Contents. Introduction. White Desert, Egypt. Bryce Canyon National Park, USA. Rock Breaking Cherry Tree, Japan. Svartifoss, Iceland. The Black Canyon, USA. Holy, Holia Sea Arch, USA. Conclusion and Glossary. Introduction. When you see a tall cliff or a huge boulder, it might be hard to imagine that it could ever break into smaller pieces. Rocks are stable and never change, right? Guess again, some of the most interesting wonders of the world are formed when rock is worn down over time. This process can create rocky outcrops, so beautiful and strange they'll make your jaw drop. When rock, soil, or sand is worn down over time and moved from one place to another, we say erosion is happening. What could possibly erode rocky outcrops, which seems so stable? Let's explore some rocky wonders around the world to find out what can make them change. White Desert, Egypt the white desert is exactly what it sounds like, a desert made of white sand and rocks. It also has some enormous white rocky outcrops. The white desert is famous for white columns of rock that look like giant mushrooms. The white columns are made of a type of rock called chalk. It is the same material that people use to write on sidewalks and chalkboards. Chalk is softer than many other kinds of rock. That means it's not as stable as other types of rock. What could have turned a rock layer into the strange white rock formations you see today? Wind. Imagine a sandy beach on a windy day. The grains of sand are tiny enough to be picked up for a few moments by a strong wind. The sand grains are only lifted a little way off the ground. They can bounce into solid rock before they come to rest on the ground again. That's how the rocky outcrops in white desert formed. Sand is a type of sediment. Every time sediment hits rock, tiny pieces come off the rock. Over millions of years, huge parts of the rock chip away. The parts of the rock that are closer to the ground get eroded more quickly. Since all sediment is bouncing around close to the ground, that's why many rocks in white desert are shaped like mushrooms. So in this picture, we see that the wind direction is going this way, which means that the, sa the sand and tiny rocks hit kind of lower down, which means they're not hitting this bigger part up here, which makes sense kind of as to why erosion is only happening on the bottom part of this rock. Hazard warning. The white desert is a popular place for tourists to visit. People like to hike and camp there. However, it is very dry and hot there. The average amount of rainfall is less than one centimeter per year. The hottest days can get up to 48 degrees Celsius, which is 118 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot. It's easy to get dehydrated and overheated in this kind of hot, dry weather. It can be very dangerous. In order to stay safe and healthy, people should check the weather report and stay inside on the hottest days. Local residents have built houses that stay cool inside even on the hottest days. People who are going out into the desert should wear clothing to protect them from the sun and carry plenty of water to drink. The white desert looks like it's covered in snow. 
That's actually rock. It's too hot and dry for snow in the white desert. Bryce Canyon National Park, USA. Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah is full of amazing rock formations. Some of the most interesting of these formations are the slot canyons. Slot canyons are very tall, narrow spaces between walls of solid rock. Some slot canyons are only one meter, three feet wide, and hundreds of meters deep. Imagine standing at the bottom of one of these canyons, looking up at a tiny slice of blue sky far above. How do slot canyons form? Water. Slot canyons usually form in very dry areas. When it rains in a dry place, the rain can't soak into the hard ground. Instead, the rain flows quickly over the ground. The water picks up speed as it flows over steep areas, forming something called a flash flood. Water from flash floods carries lots of sediment. The water and sediment rush into cracks in the rock. The water picks up and carries tiny pieces of rock. The sediment that the water is carrying also bump into a rock and break into tiny pieces. Over millions of years, flash floods carve and carve the cracks deeper and deeper until they are slot canyons. Erosion changes these stable looking rock formations. Where do the cracks come from in the first place? The answer is also water. This time it's frozen water, also known as ice. Most rocks have lots of tiny breaks that formed from pressure inside earth. During very cold weather, water fills these small breaks in the ice. At night, when it gets really cold, the water freezes into, into ice and expands. The ice pushes the rocks apart and makes the tiny breaks into larger cracks. In Bryce Canyon, the temperature gets below freezing many times per year. Each time the water freezes, the breaks in the rock get wider. When liquid fills a small break in the rock and freezes, it expands. The ice takes up more space than liquid water. It pushes the rock apart and can cause pieces of rock to break away. So in um, box number one, we see that there's a crack. It fills up with water. However, when it freezes, the ice actually pushes in all directions, up, down, and side to side, making the crack a little bit bigger each time that there's ice. Hazard warning. Many people enjoy exploring slot canyons, but they can be very dangerous. Even when the sun is out over the canyon, there can be a rainstorm somewhere else. That storm can cause a flash flood several miles away. Flash floods can be strong enough to move cars. Sometimes it is impossible to climb out of a slot canyon in time to escape a flash flood. People can avoid this natural hazard by checking weather reports before hiking in a slot canyon. If it might rain anywhere nearby, hikers should stay out of slot canyons. Rock Breaking Cherry Tree, Japan. Everyone in Japan knows about this 400 year old cherry tree located in the city of Moriko Morioka. It is famous not because it is old, but because it grows out of a giant out, out of a giant granite boulder. People think that the tree broke the rock in half as it grew. How was this rock broken by a tree? No one can really say for sure, but the rock breaking cherry tree most likely grew from a seed that settled in a small crack in the boulder. The tree began to grow in the crack. As the tree got bigger over many years, it made the crack in the rock wider, little by little. Over time, the tree broke the rock apart. 
As a plant grows, its roots extend to find water. Most of the time, plant roots help hold soil in place and keep land from eroding. However, if a plant grows in a rock, its roots can find cracks and push the sides apart. This can cause pieces of the rock to break away. Svartifush, Iceland. Svartifush is the name of an extraordinary rocky outcrop and waterfall in Iceland. With its straight lines and columns of different lengths, it looks almost like it's made out of giant pencils. The black rock that forms Svartifus is basalt, a type of volcanic rock. This basalt was mostly created in one thick rock layer as lava from a volcano as lava from a volcano poured over this area and cooled in place. As the lava cooled into rock, it shrank and cracked into six-sided columns. How did the rocky outcrop at Svartifush form? The area around Svartifush has been covered by glaciers, which are enormous pieces of ice, many times in the past. Every time, the vo- Every time the volcano erupts, the glaciers begin to melt. The melting water runs over the basalt rocks, creating a waterfall. As the waterfall pours over the cliff, it pounds into the pool at the base of the cliff. The pounding water moves sediment in the pool. The sediment erodes the base of the cliff, and the moving water carries away bits of rock over time. When enough rock wears away at the base of the cliff, a large section of a column can suddenly break off. Although they may look stable, these huge pieces of rocks are actually not stable at all. The sharp rocks at the base of the waterfall are evidence of sudden changes to the outcrop. The Black Canyon, USA The Black Canyon is a narrow and very deep canyon in Colorado. The canyon is so deep that the lowest rock layers are 2 billion years old. The Gunnison River, which flows at the bottom of this canyon, is the reason most of the rock in the canyon has been uncovered. Hazard warning. Daring hikers trek along the canyon floor when the Gunnison River doesn't have much water in it. Large boulders make the hike difficult and very dangerous. To stay safe, hikers need to wear and carry special equipment. How can rivers erode rock? When rivers flow over rock, they pick up sediment and carry it away. The pieces of sediment can bump into solid rock and break off small pieces. The sediment and the flowing water breaks off more and more pieces of rock. After a long, after a very long time, a river can carve a huge canyon like the Black Canyon. Rivers can be fast or slow, big or small, new or old. Not all rivers erode at the, the same amount of rock. For example, the lar- longer a river flows over rock, the more it will erode the rock. The faster a river flows over rock, the more it can erode the rock. The Gunnison River flows down one of the steepest slopes of any river in North America. This steep slope makes the river flow very fast. A river can form a deep canyon over time by breaking off pieces of rock and carrying them away. This diagram shows the canyon getting deeper over time. Holia Sea Arch, USA. Holia Sea Arch is a rocky outcrop in Hawaii. The outcrop is made of volcanic rock that has been hollowed out in the middle over time. It is located along the rocky coastline of Hawaii. How might an arch like this form? Water. Waves from the ocean crash into the rocky outcrop. The waves chip off tiny bits of rock and carry them away. After a long time, the waves have broken off and carried away a lot of rock. The rock closest to the water erodes first, eventually forming a big hole in the bottom of the rocky outcrop. 
an arch. When waves crash against rock over and over again, they wear away the rock. Over time, an arch can form. Hazard warning. Walking near a sea cliff can be very dangerous. Big waves come up and crash on top of the cliff. Pieces of rock can fall from the edge of the cliff. Strong winds can start suddenly. Weather reports and surf reports can't necessarily give people enough information to stay safe. Hikers should pay attention to all warning signs and keep a safe distance from the edge of any cliff. Warning signs like this help people stay safe. The sign says, Warning! Huge wage waves surge over sea cliffs. Unstable sea cliffs collapse. Strong winds occur without warning. How might an arch like this form? Water! Waves from the ocean crash into the rocky outcrop, and the waves chip tiny bits of rock and carry them away. After a long time, the waves have broken off and carried away a lot of rock. The rock closest to the water erodes first, eventually forming a big hole in the bottom of the rocky outcrop. An arch! When waves crash against rock over and over again, they wear away the rock. Over time, an arch can form. Conclusion Although the rocky outcrops in this book are spread out all over the world and look very different from each other, they all have one thing in common. They were all shaped by erosion, water, wind, ice, and plants break down the rock over time. These changes happen slowly and may not be noticeable from year to year, but over time, those small changes add up to huge changes on Earth's surface. These pages show some more rocky wonders around the world. How do you think erosion might have helped make them look the way they do? Glossary. Erosion. When rock, soil, or sand is worn down and moved from one place to another by water, wind, or ice. Evidence. Information that supports an answer to a question. Rock layer. A thick sheet of rock formed from the same material. Sediment. Small pieces of rock such as silt or sand. Stable. Staying mostly the same. Volcanic rock, a type of rock that forms when lava cools.